In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO3 3 plus K3PO4. This is chromium 3 nitrate plus potassium phosphate. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. There are three potassium atoms here and just one here. Let's put a three in front of the KNO3. That'll give us three potassiums. We also have three nitrate ions. That's good. We have three over here. Then we have chromium here and here, phosphate here and here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, they are very soluble, A, Q. Phosphates here in general are insoluble, but potassium that's in group one like sodium. So those are soluble. So potassium phosphate will dissolve, dissociate, split into its ions. Chromium phosphate, though, that's insoluble. We have a transition metal here. We have the phosphate. So this is going to be insoluble. It won't dissolve. I'm going to put an S. So when we have these substances here react, this will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. This is a precipitation reaction. Then nitrates, again, very soluble AQ. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So chromium, we don't know, that's a transition metal, but this nitrate ion, the whole thing is one minus. Since we have three of them, this has to be three plus. So we have the chromium three ion, and I'll write aqueous later. And then we have the nitrate ion here, but we have three of them. So we have three of those nitrate ions, plus potassium group one, that's one plus, the whole phosphate, three minus. So we have three potassium ions plus our phosphate ion here. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we just have CrPO4. Again, potassium, that was positive. This nitrate ion, negative. So three potassium ions and three nitrate ions. So those are our products. At this point, we cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So as I look at the reactants, I see three nitrates here. In the products, I have three nitrate ions. Get rid of that. Three potassium ions in the reactants and three in the products. Get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation here for chromium three nitrate plus potassium phosphate. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO3 3 plus K3PO4. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a three plus and a three minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for chromium 3 nitrate plus potassium phosphate. Thanks for watching.